Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make a little tutorial. So I am building on this level that is called Quater, and I built like one percent. No, I have decorated like one percent of the level. I have this little cool background effect. I can show you it. Just like that. It follows you and has a parallax, which is pretty cool. But the thing is, when you die, it, <clears throat> the background keeps on moving until it gets out of frame. And that's kind of ugly. So I'm gonna show you how to stop that from happening. I have these. I have this background, and I have it a group 32 with the big cubes and group 33 for the small cubes um, and it's these triggers that makes them move and all that stuff so then what you wanna do is put down no not a stop trigger you want to put down an a on death trigger so yeah here's the on death trigger basically it activates any the group let's say five it activates group five when you die but right now we're going to make group 35 and click activate group because other otherwise it will just make the group disappear and now what you want to do is copy paste these, make them spawn trigger, so the background keeps on moving. So yeah, but now what you want to do is, is take these and make them, and make the x, move x value the opposite of what it is. So if you have it, an x value as 1000, you have to make it to minus 1000, because <clears throat> if you because then it will counteract the movement from the original one if this one is activated. Do the same thing on this one. So, yeah. so now the background keeps moving, but it stops when it stops when you die. And it seems like I forgot to... So then you add the 35 group that is on here. No, that is... That it activates here. And put it on both of these. Because then, when you die, these two will be activated. And start pushing equally. Hmm. And to the opposite uh, side of the level as the original two. Okay, I'm terrible at explaining things, but yeah. so yeah, now the background stops, so it's still there. But it's kind of ugly to just have it freeze in the air. So what I want to do is to is to add an easing um, add ease in <clears throat> because that makes that makes uh, like instead of it just making it it makes it uh, it makes it uh, it gets hard kind of like that I think. 
Mm, yeah. But now, the problem is, <clears throat> when you play it, the cubes don't stop in time. So then what you want to do is to change easing rate to something lower. And I already have 94 prepared. So now, when you die, it, sh it should happen. It goes back a little bit, which is pretty cool. And let's also do it with this. Now this one has, now this one for some reason has to have lower easing because because um, this one moves less moves a shorter distance so then I'm going to put this one at 88 or something like that and it will make a nice little parallax when I die so yeah, that was pretty cool thanks for watching, bye